I'm Robin Ficker running for Congress in the new 6th District. Half of the district is Montgomery County, the other half is Western Maryland. I'm the only candidate that has long ties in both halves of the district. I was born in Montgomery County, lived here my entire life. In 2008, I got the Ficker Amendment on the ballot and passed. It requires a unanimous county council vote for the council to exceed the charter limit on property tax increases, to exceed the inflation rate. That question has stopped big property taxes cold in Montgomery County. I am also very familiar with the other half of the district, having gone to court in Cumberland, Oakland, Hagerstown, and Frederick for the last 30 years. So I have ties to both half of the district. No other candidate can say that. I'm running in the Republican primary. Three of the candidates in that primary don't even live in the district. Mr. Brinkley represents a district that's entirely outside of our district and has a conflict of interest. He has been calling for the county to assume the state teacher's pension costs. I know that will lead to tax increases in Montgomery County, and I'm opposed. I've been leading the fight against the gas tax. My opponent in November will be Mr. Gas Tax Garagiola, who's been the leading proponent of gas tax increases. I beat him once on the Ficker Amendment. He opposed it. I got the property taxes limited over his opposition, and now we're opposing each other on the gas tax. I want to read some of the statements that people have sent me on the gas tax here uh, from the constituency in the 6th District. Here's one from former State Senator Alex Mooney, who was a Republican chairman uh, throughout the state of Maryland. Mr. Ficker, I received your phone message and I am writing to register my strong opposition to the gas tax increase proposal for Maryland. Here's one from David Macklin, who was vice president of CBRE Brokerage. The proposed gas tax will crush any hope of an economic recovery in the state of Maryland and will drive businesses to relocate to Northern Virginia. Here's one from Lloyd and Gene Ritchie. We strongly urge you to vote against a raise in the tax on gasoline. As seniors who live on Social Security, this would create a great hardship on us. Here's one from Alan Esau of Damascus. Adding a gas tax on Marylanders during an economic time like this is like throwing gasoline onto a fire. Here's one from Kay Shearer. I request blockage of the governor's request for additional tax on gasoline for the residents of the state of Maryland. Enough is enough. Gerald Schindel writes, as a resident and registered voter, I am very much against any increase in the motor fuel tax increase to the citizens in the state of Maryland. This is not a necessity to impose a gas tax at the time of inflation, as we are all suffering from the highest ever price per gallon in the middle of winter with no control on motor fuel prices continuing to increase. Norman Peterson says, it's adding insult to injury to increase the gas tax while the price is projected to soar. I savor buying gas when I am in New Jersey and the gas tax is always lower. I'm going to respond to the people in my district and represent their viewpoint. That's why I've read these emails today. I look forward to your vote. Please look at my website, Robin Ficker 2012, on Facebook, Robin Ficker 2012, and Twitter, Robin Ficker 2012. And after the election in January, you all come down to the Capitol and we'll have some bean soup together.